Hello, welcome back to 8701. Um, in this lecture, or this little video, we want to look at reactions and how they relate to cross sections. So we start um, or continue the discussion um, of how we can relate um, proper experimentally measured and determined properties to the forces involved. The last lecture we looked at uh, decay rates and the rates of unstable particles. This time we want to look at the reaction rates expressed as cross sections. And we can start doing this um, by looking at this simplified picture. So the reaction rate is related or is equal to the rate of the beam. So how many particles per second are available for the interactions times the number density of the particle in a target. So you have your target here. And clearly the number of uh, reactions depend on how dense your target is. Uh, the thickness, so you go along, how, you know, the thicker the, th the thicker the material the target is, the more likely it is for reactions to occur. And then by the actual physics, by the likelihood of a collision to occur, and this likelihood is called a cross-section. And we can think about this cross-section as a geometrical area. All right. So let's look at this a little bit more. Again, we stay with a very classical model, uh, a model in which we have two billiard balls, a light one, a small one with radius R1, and a larger one with a radius R2. Clearly, a collision happens, occurs, when the impact parameter, B, here between those two billiard balls is, balls is smaller than the sum of the radii. Okay. So now we can analyze this reaction a little bit more and look at angular distributions. We find that this cross-section differential distribution is given um, as a function of sine theta. Uh, we can also express this using the azimuth or as a solid angle here. As a reminder, the solid angle theta is equal to sine theta d theta d phi. All right. So for this specific problem here, we talk about an isotropic, um, uh, isotropic um, reaction because by definition, um, the, um, the cross section per solid angle is independent of uh, theta and phi. Uh, the mapping between theta, sine theta and theta is not trivial. That's why you see this shape of the distribution. Um, yeah, but the d, d sigma d cosine theta uh, is, is, is bad if you look at this as a function of cosine theta. All right, so this is just a classical picture. And what we want to do later in the class is using quantum field theory for Feynman rules in order to calculate cross sections, also decay rates. Um, but you know, this classical picture is really something I would like you to keep in mind. Um, the idea of the likelihood of a collision to occur is in units of an area and can be seen as a geometrical cross section of this kind of collision. It's a very nice picture to keep in mind. And it also helps uh, estimating orders of magnitude of rates of collisions to occur. 